This is Josh. He is a Sambo silver medalist, a judo black belt, and a professional cage fighter with a record of 13 wins and one loss. But right now, I know none of that. Last week I went out to the beautiful Caribbean nation of Trinidad and Tobago to teach some jiu-jitsu with everybody's favorite Canadian and, um, whoever this guy is. So after a little bit of rolling around into the sand, which, um, is a terrible idea. Don't ever do it. It was time to kick things off with the first training session of the week. So we're gonna go for the meet and greet open mat. I've been rolling around in the sand a little bit, so I got a little bit of a black eye going on. We ended up hitting two rolls with Josh. First one, I'm going in cold, not knowing his true power level. Second round, way more exciting, but you're gonna have to stick around if you wanna see it. Okay, three, two, one. So I'm gonna kick off the round by, um, Hanging yeah. out, you know, chilling, vibing. It's jujitsu, honestly. Like, who wants to go hard? Here you can see he's trying to grab my legs. Some people do that because it turns them on. But he is doing that so he can control me and pass into side control. Which is why you see me sit up into him and start working some of that hand fighting. Grip fighting is by far the most fundamental and also the most boring part of jujitsu. The whole idea is getting a little tempo going so you can progress to the next step. Think of it as, uh, oh yeah, first base. <laughs> I'm gonna pop up because I'm getting a whole lot of nothing and he's gonna sit down to try to work some of that guard I love this move right here grab the foot push on the shoulder it's gonna flatten him on the mat Which is gonna make it harder for him to attack me I'm gonna slide his legs over and plop by into side control He's trying to push me away make some space so I'm shifting my hips here and there somebody kicks me I look back and boom he's gonna pop up with an underhook I'm thinking about a triangle But he knows to keep his hands inside so I can't throw my leg over his shoulder So the turns have tabled here a little He's got a good little knee slice going on here but I'm using my knee to create distance so he decides to back up looking for a standing pass. I'm honestly a big fan of just standing up, bro. So that's what I do here. From the knees, he's gonna go for a body lock, so I use my overhook looking for an Uchimata. If I would've known he's a black belt in judo, probably wouldn't have done that. He's threatening with a back take, but I'm about to pop out the back door. So last second, he grabs my leg and rolls through to stay behind me. I'm gonna try to roll on my shoulders here, but notice how he's got my left arm trapped. A little bit of a Khabib move, which is honestly a great control position if you really wanna punch somebody right in the kiss up. With a little bit of elbow grease I'm able to wiggle my way out of it since I'm sitting up he's looking to attack my head but I'm gonna pop up and attack his head instead now he's got good grip fighting I know he's about to pull out right as he does I switch to the single leg I'm gonna look to run the pipe I'm gonna switch I'm gonna hoist him up look for a trip but notice how he's doing a good job of keeping his hips and his base away from me also he's using his left hand to help him create distance as well you can see I barely have any grip at all here so I'm gonna let go he's gonna reshoot on me turn the corner I'm gonna finagle my hips away from him defending the takedown he's kind of hanging out on his knees here you might think he's in danger of getting his back taken or choked but that is what the grip fighting is for even if you're in a slightly strange position if you know the basics of control you're chilling bro he goes for a little sweep single but instantly grabs my second leg chopping out my base so i can't get away from him i look to stand back up so he jumps on my back throwing one hook in but you know your boy got those thick thighs I'm pulling on his right arm which is making him feel like he's gonna fall off the side you can see him readjust but i'm able to put my shoulder in his chest and eventually spin out of danger he's gonna go back to the well on that shot turn the corner but i'm using this left arm to put weight on him allowing me to get back up he still does have my leg but i'm gonna spin around to his back from here i'm pinching my knees together to keep him from doing any sudden movement but he's gonna go back to the fundamentals of hand fighting he's gonna break my bear hug getting up to his feet and doing a little sploosh splash spin a ruski two seconds left on the board he goes for a buzzer beating flying arm bar attempt i respect the send on that one of course i wanted to run that back but this time knowing that he was scaled more towards end game i knew i was gonna have to be slightly sharp because the smallest mistake could easily spiral way out of control. But first, sponsor time. Hey you, it's your internet jujitsu bro. Are you tired of showing up to class and having no drip? Well, fear not, because xmarshall.com has you covered. They are a premium jujitsu brand, making everything from geese to rash guards that are not only very classy, but also premium quality. I like the innuendo rash guard because, haha, the monkey see, monkey try, bunga bunga, and the I should probably put on more clothes so I don't scare anybody Away, or should I? There will be a link down in the description where you can get decked out. And for viewers of this channel, you get a special 10% off when you use the discount code JEDI at checkout. You can also sign up for their emailing list for even more insane discounts. Support the channel and look cool while you're doing it. Add over. All right, this is for all the marbles. Will the winner be Team Khabib or Team Jason Momoa? Just like any good game, we gotta start off by checking what all the buttons do. I'm pumping some fakes out here because I do have commitment issues. I was teaching class before this round where I went over this sick takedown, so of course I have to hit it live. Well, it's the 
thought that counts. So I didn't get the takedown here, but this little combo is something I do quite often. I touch his head, he grabs my wrist, I slap his wrist down, I fake the arm drag on his left, and then instantly switch to his right. You may know I am a fan of the sitting arm bar. But Josh wasn't over committing to the collar tie, which is what happened here. So he's able to pull himself back, keeping me from getting a solid bite. Ah, grip fighting. That's like another way of saying, I'm waiting for the right moment. But I mean, hey, Judo black belts, little scary. Josh is gonna drop down for a double leg, but this underhook of his has become a liability. As you can see, I've got his arm trapped. I'm hipping off to the side, looking for an omoplata attack. He's gonna roll. I try to go for the arm bar, but he's able to pull his arm out. I'm gonna try to get up real quick, but he's like, nah, bro, stay down. But as he pulls back, I'm gonna front kick him in the abs, giving me the space I need to get back up to my feet. I have a two on one grip here, trying to bait him into grabbing my head so I can do this. But he's just not giving me the response I want. Can you believe it? He swims for an underhook to set something up. I am thinking about a flying triangle from here. But right as I go for it, he hits me with that. You don't even know about it, bro. You don't, indeed. I'm gonna try to go for the armbar again, nope. but he's like, nah, bro. Remember me? I'm the guy that did this. And then out of nowhere, boom, inverts looking for a footlock. Now, truth be told, I really don't have footlock defense. I kind of just grab a hold of their feet and try to get something in return. Is this something I would recommend? No, not really. I do have a solid bite on his foot. Now, I've never been in this position before, but I instinctively pull it over looking for the heel hook and get the tap. We're doing a little push pull again. I'm gonna go for that two on one, but he's framing on my head, keeping me away. So I'm gonna switch to an overhook and boom, hits me with that Tayo Toshi. I'm able to regard. This time I have a clamp on his right arm, so I'm able to throw my leg over. Now he is in danger, but it's not a done deal since my legs aren't crossed. He can still posture up, which is why I'm gonna pull his head down. This is gonna give me the space I need to lock up the full triangle. He's gonna sit back to alleviate some tension, but I just sit up with him and after a little bit of finagling, I get the Tap. Shout out to Josh for the solid round. Get this video to 10,000 likes and I'll fight him.